Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to walk you through some tips and tricks and just a basic 101 of Google Drawings, which is one of my all-time favorite uh, Google apps or G Suite tools or GAIF tools or whatever you want to call it. It's one of my favorites. So you're going to start out in your Google Drive and you're going to head over to New and then go to More and Google Drawings. So this is the symbol here for Google Drawings. I'm going to click on it. It's going to open a brand new canvas for you. So you're going to have uh, a big blank, blank canvas to work with. Uh, the first thing I always start with doing is naming my drawing. So let's call it my first Google drawing. Um, so just to run through a few of the steps, uh, you have a toolbar up here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the tool toolbar in a moment. Um, but to start, I usually start with just showing people about um, the shapes. The shapes are pretty cool. So there's a drop down here. You can choose from shapes, arrows, callouts, or equations. I'm going to head over to shapes. And why don't we just make our standard rounded corner rectangle. Make it a rectangle. So the standard color is this slate blue. Uh, if you want to change the color of your shape, make sure it is highlighted. By that I mean it's got the blue squares around it. And you'll click here on the little paint uh, box, fill color. And you can fill it with any color that you like. Even head over and make a, a custom color if you know the hex code for that. Um, so let's make a red one. Now, if I wanted to get even more detailed, I could add a line color, so make it pop maybe with a yellow line. And as you can see when you click away, you can't really see that yellow line. So why don't we select it again. So watch what happens. Look at the toolbar up here. Your toolbar becomes a lot bigger and has more options when you actually click on an item. So a lot of that's where a lot of my students get stuck. But madam, madam, the you know the paint the paint thing option is gone. Um, so the paint can. So when you click on it, oh, there, everything reappears. So you know that you're working on this uh, shape um, when it's highlighted and when all these beautiful tools come back. So we were talking about line color. So we made it yellow, but we can't really see it. So if you use this tool, the line weight. You can make it 4, you could make it 12, okay, so like you're making a sign or something, that looks not too bad. Um, the other great, great, great tip about uh, shapes is any shape, so any shape when you go to insert shapes, um, when you double click inside of it, double click, you can type type away. Now this is awesome because you don't have to go and grab a, se a separate text box and put it inside your shape which I'm finding some of my students are doing because they they weren't aware of that feature so um, just a simple double click inside any of these so if you make a call out which is you know like a speech bubble you can just take it double click in it. So here comes another tip actually. So if you've got uh, your shape selected already and you wanna make another one with the same attributes and colors and line width and line color, when you make sure that you've highlighted the one that you wanna mimic and then you'll click on another shape. So let's say we want an arrow that's red with um, a yellow border. And there you go, it makes it right away so you don't even have to change uh, the colors and width. You still can now if you want to change it and make it a green, that's fine too. Um, but just a quick tip, so if you want to make things matching, make sure it's selected before you hit the shape that you want to do. Okay, so basically that's a quick tutorial on shapes. I'm going to move into some more uh, detailed explanations about the other things on the toolbox in the next video, so be sure to watch.